and it appears to be a chunk right missing right out of it <laughs> the inner pad is just gone i don't know where oh great brake fluid i put that in there and i pressed on both pistons with this here handy dandy squeezer majig tool hardware has to go first the mosquitoes are really chewing on a fella really chewing on a guy out here so you can see the stainless steel shims are new the pads are new so there's the old hardware so i'm working on the power ranger today and i found a leak in the brakes and it's coming from this caliper here it's always had a spongy pedal and i sort of just used it as a yard truck so i realized it was leaking from the pistons and when i got up close to inspect the pads there is no brake pad the piston is pushed all the way out and it's pushing on the rotor i don't know where the brake pad went from this truck i'm gonna put another caliper on it and uh, new pads but I just thought it was interesting that there's no pad at all on the inside. Like it must've fell out, I don't know. That's just the way it was. Okay, so I took out these two bolts here and here, not the bracket, just the caliper. Removed just the caliper. Uh, it is a double piston caliper and it appears to be a chunk right missing right out of it. <laughs> wow, and there was I guess there's another chunk missing there and there was no pad at all on the inside like there's the outer pad here to push on the rotor the inner pad is just gone I don't know where oh great brake fluid you want to make sure these adjuster sliders aren't uh, want to make sure they're not stuck so they seem to be okay the new pads come with um, come with new hardware these stainless steel sliders i gotta pop out the old pads or the old pad i should say because the other one is non-existent the rotor's not bad it's not good but it's not bad so i'll probably just leave that for now and just get her back together again just get her working again okay i got this caliper on here so my buddy happened to have one that would fit but i painted it and I put new pads, I got new pads and hardware so you can see the stainless steel shims are new, the pads are new, so there's the old hardware. And there's one of the old pads, I don't know where the other one went, but pretty much dicker day. Eh? There is some bits like this, I think that's a chunk of the old pad there, but not much left of her. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, out with the old and broken and in with the new there's the old one hanging there uh, i like to hang them so they don't put pressure on the flex line but yeah all i gotta do now is hook up the line and bleed it i noticed that the sway bar link is missing also custom friggin custom off-road but i'm gonna get her back together and working as good as i can hopefully but i just wanted to show the old one this, I've seen some stuff in my day, but this is pretty interesting. So, the outer pad was worn right down to pretty much nothing. The inner pad was completely gone. I don't know where, just completely gone. And these came out, these pistons came out way too far beyond their seal. They started leaking, or maybe this chunk here, I don't know. But either way, it started leaking. And there's a chunk right out of it. I've seen some stuff in my day before, but there's a chunk right out of that piston. Okay, I'm on the driver's side now, and this side uh, actually exists. There's actually brake pads here. They're not very good, they're terrible, but at least they're not worn down and missing like the other side. So, uh, I'm just checking everything. I'm gonna change these stainless pieces here. might clean this cradle half-assed put the new stainless hardware in there 
I put that in there and I pressed on both pistons with this here handy dandy squeezer majig tool. So I returned those and I've got the ceramic pads and hardware here. Hardware has to go first. The mosquitoes are really chewing on a fella. Really chewing on a guy out here. Figure out which way this thing here goes. And then just stab that, stab that into place with the whatever size hammer you got. Sounds like the helicopters are looking for the all those electric lettuce plantations. Yeah, there he goes. Looking for the electric lettuce, eh? Anywho, I'm gonna break down these here fancy brake pads. I'll probably put my gloves on, maybe. You gotta press on these here tangs. Other than that, they just pretty much go right in. Yeah, I think that's in there. Get the other one here. Okay, I got the new pads on this side, on the driver's side. And uh, the new stainless hardware in there. I said a couple swear words trying to get the inside one. The tabs down on the inside one. But I got them in there. And now I'm going to put the caliper back on, check these sliders, make sure they're not seized. I've already um, compressed these pistons back, so it pretty much just drops right on here. I didn't paint this side, but I didn't change this side either. I did change the other side because it was broken and leaking and all kinds of bad things. So I guess I'll just put the hardware back here, here. Put the nuts right to her. I mean the bolts. And uh, yeah. I bled the other side, bleeder on top here. The pedal seemed a lot firmer. And uh, the first time you push the pedal, the piston might come back. It might be a little bit loose there. So the first time, Oh, your pedal might feel like it's soft, but the piston is probably just returning it, if that happens. You push the pedal and the, uh, the caliper came, the pistons came out and the caliper squished on it. So the first pedal was a little soft, but now it's good. I already bled the other side when I changed the caliper over there. I think it's okay. I think we bled all the air out. These are the pads off the driver's side. There is a little bit of material still on them, but they're definitely shot. Definitely time to be done, especially the passenger side. So I'm glad that's done. I guess the pad came out, I don't know, at some point in this truck's life. And the brake pedal was always soft. I thought it was the ABS unit or something because I couldn't find a leak previously but it was leaking like on the wheel last time I topped it up and checked. So that's how I found the leak. So it's way better now. I got front brakes working, the pedals up, all the air is out. That caliper was absolutely destroyed. It was terrible. But anyway, she should have brakes now. But aside from that, I'm just gonna put the wheel back on it. It's just an off-road rig right now. These things are pretty gnarly, eh? 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain trail runner trail runner AT 275 70 18 load range E LT 275 pretty big tire for a, for a Ranger I think
previous owner must have put these on, I guess. I don't know, somebody put these on at some point. They're definitely oversized for a Ranger, that's for sure. So I've got her back on the ground here and I painted the replacement, painted it orange and I put the new stainless steel uh, hardware in there. Somebody did a terrible job painting these BSA, these 18 inch BSA wheels. So I got new ceramic pads, stainless steel caliper. Um, I had to bleed it, so I stuck this hose on the bleeder, cracked it loose, and then I bled it into a Gatorade bottle. And uh, the pedals back up, it seems to be nice and dry. It seems to be better now. The rotor has one groove in it, but it's not too bad. Might change them later. I'll just be glad if it's if the brakes are working again, which they seem to be. Actually. There's a chunk, a little chunk out of this one too. Wow. So I want to make another snow plow this year. And uh, I figure I'd go ahead and utilize what's left of this heating oil tank. Uh, 